Welcome to New Fira Stadium, home of the Snuffalo Thrills. The city's tourism slogan, shuffle off to Snuffalo and die. It's very appropriate as the Thrills fans are eager to see their opponents buried today. Very popular honeymoon spot, Pilgrim. When the honeymoon's over, do what those people do. Jump off the floors with the old ball and chain. Hey, anybody see my good smokes? Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The New York Tyrants go up against the Snuffalo Thrills. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Briggs, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you asked for, Grim. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shit house. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in. You know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. Fermented anything really tastes good. And he picks up about six on the play. Third down and three. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Hey, the dog named Snags. He got you play a car and die. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. And the passing game picking up some steam. A gain of seven there. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Hot three. Third down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot. I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play.
And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. He is fighting for every yard. First down. He was not going to drop that one. He, hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. And this is a first and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. They're back up here on first down. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and a lot. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Third down and, well, good luck. away from that and they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard boring but smart time to punt whoa whoa you can't say that on the radio nice punt should move him back nicely he's got the ball now let's see what he does with it You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a and it's first and ten. Wow! The quarterback just threw it. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy, and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten.
can touch on our ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. And that's a sack! Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here! Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Third down and never going to happen. And that player has one speed. He's the bullet and the offense is the target. Keep it going all the way. The 30. He's at the 20. The and that guy is dead. Good riddance. He killed me in my fantasy game last week. I wanted a murder on myself. How have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. He's seven layers of smarmy, Grim. Third down in the QB as defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Third down and six. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. The quarterback passes the ball, and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. And it's first and ten. to drop the ball if you're still alive. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Oh, monster hit! Scratch him off the roster. He's a goner. The 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score! And here comes the extra point attempt. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. And he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing.
And it's first and ten. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. He's so big that the last time he saw him, he picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And so that's the two minute warning. Second down and a very lot. Oh, sure. Now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't do vegetables. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Keep a good meal. Oh, with the brain scrambler. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Yeah, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for.
It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm gonna go to a strip show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Something going here. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down and five. And he's running like a moose. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. And that'll bring up third and one. And that'll give him four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit! First and eight to go. Second down and ten. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Gonna shave a few days off his life. And that'll bring up third and one. And that's 
it's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. Third down and six. Picks up two yards on the pass. Then this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder... A team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys, get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? They clank him on. He said balls, not bells. Saw that play coming a mile away and snuffed it out on fourth down. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. And this guy is supercharged with electricity. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. Third and four. for the first down. And it's first and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Kareem? And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Second down and two. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nice one, guys. That's supposed to be impartial, but this rep is so dirty. Second down and more than... And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this. That 
play didn't work. He'll have to rethink that. Third down and forever. Pow! With the brain scrambler. This is going to be one hell of a kick if he can make it. What a shame. It's still just a field goal. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Career. 140 times to be exact, and one game to be more exact. During one play to be more and more exact. It wasn't even a game, actually. Coach just laid into me on the sidelines. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta... Uh... <clears throat> You got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Mm. One speed, one engage. What are you trying to impress your third man made to bring him into the game? And he now breaks his bowels. He is loose and headed for the end zone. He could go all the way. Oh, crash, bang, pow. Huh? Oh, you ordering Chinese food again, Grim? Huh? Hey, give me the... Oh, welcome to Bubble Town, USA. Population... More careful when he hurdles. And it's first and ten. Intercepted. Second down and ten. Warming up. Ah, oh, the strawberry feels dirty trick. As my mentor Hunter used to say, I don't advocate drugs, alcohol, narcotics, or insanity to anyone, but they've always worked for me. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Brick. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pig, Ren. You're right. And it's first and ten. Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Well, fee, five, foul, fum. I'm not finishing that joke, Grim. The only. Oh, nice hit. Second down and two. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow.
and that'll bring up third and one. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The kicker is going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. First and ten. And that's a catch for three yards. Uh, why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! Inflated the quarterback's balls right there. <laughs> and the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. Third down and long. And that's the last time out. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? And it's first and ten. That's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Second down and nine. A nice catch for five yards. Third and four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot three. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First down and five. Hot, hot one. Hot. It's two yard run before he stopped. The Sniffle Thrills win today's game. And these fans are really going to be celebrating tonight, Bricks. Yeah, I just saw two zombies hugging and kissing. And they say romance is dead. I just hate this fellow. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it? Scrambles tomato soup. Wounds. Mm -mm, good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...